This week on The Takeout, journalist Jason Rezaian speaks with our Major Garrett. He was in prison in Iran for over a year. They discuss a question Major asked then-President Barack Obama back in 2015. Thank you, Mr. President. As you well know, there are four Americans in Iran, three held on trumped-up charges, according to your administration, and one whereabouts unknown. Can you tell the country, sir, why you are content with all the fanfare around this deal to leave the conscience of this nation and the strength of this nation unaccounted for in relation to these four Americans? And last week, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff said under no circumstances should there be any relief for Iran in terms of ballistic missiles or conventional weapons. It is perceived that that was a last-minute capitulation in these negotiations. Mm -hmm. Many in the Pentagon feel you've left the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff hung out to dry. Could you comment? I've got to give you credit, Major, for how you craft those, uh, those questions. For the, the notion that I am content as I celebrate with American citizens languishing in Iranian jails? Major, that, that's nonsense, and you should know better. I've met with the families of some of those folks. Nobody's content, and our diplomats and our teams are working diligently to try to get them out. Rezaian thanked Major for challenging the deal and drawing light to prisoners in Iran. Here's his response. I heard about that for the first time when, uh, when my, my wife came to, to visit me in, in Avin prison just a couple of days later. Uh, it was a time of, of major uh, despair uh, in my life that this deal had been struck and uh, that I was still in prison. Uh, we didn't know at the time that there were negotiations going on that would ultimately culminate in, in my release and the release of other Americans. Uh, but. When my wife told me about that exchange, I just thought to myself, okay, if I ever get out of here, there's another person to put on the Christmas card list right there. And um, I, I remember the first time that you and I met was at Obama's last uh, White House Correspondence Dinner. And, um, and I was asked to, uh, to present the awards that night. And I remember joking uh, with Yegi, my wife, at the time that, you know, I'm just going to go up there and give every single one of these awards to Major Garrett. <laughs> You know, the award goes to Major Garrett. Jason, he's not one of the nominees for I'm the not, award. I'm not a nominee. Not Major a recipient. Gets Don't every qualify. Every single award tonight, if I'm giving them out, uh, it was it was a, a really important moment in that whole story. Uh, I've written about it in the book. Um, I remember asking you at the time where that ranked in terms of awkward moments for Obama. I think I said to you, Major, what was that, top 10, top 15? And you kind of paused and gave me a look and smiled, and you said, I covered this guy for eight years, mm. and it was in the top handful. Oh, right? absolutely, yeah. New episodes of The Takeout come out every Friday, wherever you get your podcasts. You can also hear them on CBS radio stations around the country, and you can stream it Friday and Saturday nights right here on CBSN.